teachers. And another thing is the teachers. I actually sat in on one of his classes last week and it lasted 12 minutes. The teacher couldn't wait to get off. Honestly, the teacher couldn't wait to get off. And I just thought, you're about to do your GCSE. She literally took the register, said, do what you did from last week. And that was it. And my son said that we did that last week already, you know? And it's, I, was, I feel really bad for him because he's really worried. He's really, really worried. Sherelle, I could talk to you for ages. Thank you so much for calling in. All power to you. You know, doing it on your own, working, holding down a job, six-year-old, 15-year-old, in a flat, uh, over months and months and months. Superwoman, thank you so much for calling in. You're listening to David Lamy on LBC. It's 6.31 and it's time for the week to Humphrey. Health bosses have joined unions to demand the government stick to its promise to pay health workers in England 2% more. NHS providers say the original offer is enshrined in law, but the government says 1% is all it can afford right now. Police say they're increasingly concerned about the welfare of a woman who went missing while walking home in South London. Sarah Everard disappeared as she made her way home from Clapham Junction on Wednesday night. The 33-year-old's family say it's totally out of character. A leaked email suggests the UK is to dramatically reduce its foreign aid budget to some of the most war-torn countries around the world. The options being looked at include cutting support to Syria by 67%. Lebanon, Libya and Nigeria would also be affected. The weather, most areas will be dry, cold and frosty tonight with a mixture of cloud and clear spells, some rain in Scotland and a low of minus three. This is LBC. You can always trust a bit of stargazing to put a twinkle in your eye. So if you're on the lookout for someone to do that building renovation, complete with stargazing skylight, simply visit trustatrader.com. There you'll find plenty of vetted, reviewed, reliable professionals in an abundance of trades. Like a builder who'll provide the star treatment. For trusted tradespeople, let the superstars align. Morning everyone, I'd like to introduce you to Nisha. She's taking over from Billion Account. Please update us on the current status, Nisha. Thanks, Tony. I want to start by drilling down into the third quarter figures. We are now heading into our busiest period with all the contracts. On average, to get the same size pension as a man, women would have to start work a lot younger. This International Women's Day, find out what you can do to close the £100,000 pension gap. Search Scottish Widows online. Scottish Widows, taking on your future together. The latest government guidance requires everyone to stay at home. TfL services continue to run for those who need to travel for legally permitted reasons. If you need to travel, please walk or cycle if you can. If you are using public transport, please plan ahead and travel at quiet times, which at the weekend are before noon and after 6pm. You must wear a face covering at all times on public transport unless you are exempt. Check before you travel. Search TfL Journey Planner. To the Mayor of London and TfL, every journey matters. Get ready for the ultimate festival with VIP camping, front row seats, and most importantly of all, a nice clean loo. Where is this amazing place? Your back garden. Thanks to Berry.co.uk, who have everything from sonos speakers to tents and fashion. Because our house is our world this very moment. I spy something beginning with T. Is it the new nightshade blue Volkswagen Tiguan online SUV with an elegant leather multifunction steering wheel, wireless app connect, sleek IQ light matrix beam headlights, soft 30 color ambient lighting, and a set of glossy 19 inch alloy wheels that we just passed? No. Nope. Oh, did it have the 20 inch wheels? The new Volkswagen Tiguan, full of reasons to get excited. Contact your local retailer today. Some features mentioned not standard, but available at additional cost. We all have our own personal relationship with money. How we spend, save and budget. Our goals and dreams for the future. This is your money verse, And it's as unique as you are. And the Barclays app can help you master it. It helps you see how you're spending and any upcoming scheduled payments so you can make a clear plan for your money. Master your money verse and make money work for you. Barclays, you need to be 16 or over to use the app. T's and C's apply. Everyone's staying in. Everyone getting on. Most of the time. Every extra thing we're having to do, every plan we put on hold, every sacrifice we're making, Everyone who stays at home is helping stop the spread of COVID-19. 
because the less we leave home, the less likely we'll come into contact with the virus. Everything we're doing is making a difference. Let's keep going. Stay home. Protect the NHS. Save lives. This is LBC with David Lammy. Call 0345 6060 973. Tweet at LBC. Text 84850. I'm taking your calls on our young people returning to education on Monday and how you're feeling about it, whether you're a parent. We just had a wonderful call from a, a parent who's been struggling, can't wait for the kids to get back to school, or indeed whether you are a teacher or head teacher. I've got a text message here from um, Miles in Ely. Uh, as a teacher in my 50s who has worked through the pandemic, I'm feeling very apprehensive about Monday. Why would they maintain furlough until September and then choose to put thousands of people together in close confines? And that's from Miles in Ely. It's a fair point, uh, but as you know, Boris said last month, all the evidence shows that classrooms are the best places for our young people and that they are safe. Sarah in Hammersmith. Sarah. Oh, hello, David. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Yeah, um, David, I'm actually ringing up. I've got family members and friends who are primary school teachers. Now, as you know, schools have been closed since lockdown, except for primary school children who are vulnerable or key worker children. Now, in spite of that going on, I've come across some of my friends who said some of these schools have had to close down. In spite of that, they've had to have deep cleansing and so on because infection is quite uh, rampant in primary schools, bearing in mind that children are actually the carriers. Now, this is an added worry. I've also got family members of primary school teachers, and I'm very, very anxious for them. My first point is about the school. The second thing is, as far as the vaccine is concerned, we've had all these variants that are coming about, the South Africa one, we've had the um, Brazilian one, there's another one that's out at the moment, which my understanding is, is the vaccine cannot control one of these particular ones, okay? That's the first point. The second point where vaccines are concerned is that we don't have enough information on how the transmission side of things, you know? Um, well, once you've Sarah, had the vaccine. Sarah, Sarah, we've got to balance this. We've got to balance this. I mean, the first thing is, the young people who are going to primary school are in bubbles, you know? It's a very small amount of young people that have been going into primary school now. Um, there's not a risk to health in primary schools. The issue is, are our teachers safe? Is the issue. And, and, what, and what's the balance against the loss for these young people and particularly at primary school level um it's you know these kids have got to be socializing well and no, i understand i understand children have to go back to school but i really believe that it's just too soon what we need is far more information around the vaccine how successful those vaccines are before we send the children back that's very important we like your previous callers have said the first two callers i agree with you the, the person who just gave the text before mine
nature is telling you yeah. about yeah. the virus. So I, I hear what you're saying, Sarah. Look, it, 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 your instinct is it's too soon. But of course, uh, it's important to follow the data and what the data is telling you. Well, we don't have enough of it. That's the problem with the vaccine is concerned. There's still sort of like, you know, they're still trying to find out, work out what's going on. And we won't know that until more people have been vaccinated and more I research is done and more latest, information The latest is, is that, 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 that what's worrying about, the, particularly the Brazilian parent, is the, is the extent in which it can speed it. That, that it means that uh, people pick up the infection people. rates quite high. But it, the, the, the evidence so far is, in fact, that the vaccines are effective against the variants that have emerged. That's but what about sense. transmission? We haven't been told the vaccines, you know, they're saying that they can still transmit, you can still get the virus in but spite of having the vaccine. People, of course, getting COVID and dying are two different things. Getting COVID and overwhelming the NHS are two different things. We now seem to be getting to a point where the NHS is not going to be overwhelmed and the death rate and the infection rate are coming down. And well, therefore, it's my judgment I'm, I'm, that our young people have to go back to school. Sarah, thank you for calling in. I know it's a fine line, it's a fine balance. Uh, there's definitely a, a discussion to be had, and so I definitely respect that opinion. There'll be others who have that opinion. Please call me on 0345 6060 973. Julie in Brightlesea. Julie. Brightlesea. I was so bright, I can't say it. I know you do. I'm, I'm, I don't I'm, know. Not, I'm, not, I'm not an Essex lad, so it's hard. Um, <laughs> anyway, it's okay, baby. Uh, I just want to say, I, I, I went to Pat's house today. Yes. On our weekly shop, and I have four boys, as you know, teens, yeah? So triplet, year eight, and a uh, year ten. And I bought the most expensive, like, poshy, three-layer masks that I could for them. And I had tears in my eyes as I did it. Oh. A petrol five per child. So four children, 20 masks, six pound a pack. Apart from the fact that it was 24 quid, which I am lucky because we are working. Look, actually, wait, I've got to run out to the, to the supermarkets. You do, you do. It's the mask yeah. as well. I have to talk about that. It's not bloody funny, babe, because the good news about them being back in, in, in secondary belt with compulsory masks is they're going to wear them all day. Yes. And you ain't going to do that with a surgical mask or whatever. No. So I'm like... I get a bucket and they come in every day, they dump their thing in the bucket and it's like socks, isn't it? They're all going to get lost in the normal wash, so they get their mask bucket, so that was me, 24 quid. And I thought about it and I thought, oh god, I'm just being like me, typical, logical. And then I suddenly thought, four bottles of hand and sanitizer, and when I was putting it through the till, I thought, why am I doing this? This is not okay. This is too... Soon. Oh, you thought it's too soon. So that's why you're yes. upset. Yes, yes, because I am very careful. I'm a scientist, as you know, and I really want my kids back at school. I really do. But when I find myself putting into... Julie, you've got to be careful. By the way, when you say I'm a scientist... Julie, 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 hang on a sec. When you say I'm a scientist, as you know, you've just got to be a little bit careful. Because there will be be some listeners that think that we're having an illicit affair. And my wife's like... So please don't look there. I'm a BSc. I studied at Portsmouth School of Pharmacy. Uh, as a medical laboratory scientist, I worked for the NHS actually as a, a lab scientist for a very long time in hematology and immunology before I moved into IT. So that's my credentials. Okay? As you know, yeah. Yeah, and then I went on to biotech and, and I was working. But the bottom science. line is, Julie, you're worried. It's yes, too soon. I am. We shouldn't be I'm sending I'm our kids to... back. And, and what, what my, the reason I rang you is if I'm worried, as a really sane, kind of sensible, careful thing, my husband's a key worker, he's a, a warehouse manager for our local food bank, you know, if, and then I've just got my vaccine appointment, I'm really pleased about that, so I hate this government, but I'm really proud of the NHS for giving me that. Um, all I'm saying is I am really worried about my 14th going back to school. I totally get it, Julie, I get it. Thank you for calling in again. Please call me again. I love talking to you. You're listening to David Lammy on LBC. The time now is 6.45. Coming up.
for seven on LBC. Natasha Devon. A £3.50 per week pay rise after everything the pandemic has thrown at nurses during the past year. How can that possibly be right? Natasha Devon on LBC. I'm a nurse, and I know a lot of people have questions about the coronavirus vaccine. They want to feel confident that it's safe. Although it's been developed quickly, it has passed all the same safety checks as other medicines, and millions of people in this country have now had it. It is safe, and it will protect you from getting seriously ill with COVID. So I urge you, do what I've done. Say yes to the vaccine when it's your turn, and encourage your family to do the same. This is an advert on behalf of the Mayor of London. Thank you. 